This is In Through the Outdoors, and I'm your guide, Jason Walter. So I woke up one morning and decided to take a trip to Namesville. I think the thought hit me after leaving Dr. Sonar's office. I'm not getting any younger. So on my way out of town, I stopped at Guns Gas and get to fuel up and grab a few things. Felix and Henry said the trip was long, but Zippy told me once you go through Hawthorne and get to Peluso, you're two-thirds of the way there and the rest is a piece of cake. Well, after five hours on the road, I pulled into Bartusik to stretch my legs and get a bite to eat, and there at the stop sign in front of me was one of those super fancy sports cars. I think it was a Marriotti. Anyway, I pulled into the hutch and sat at the only table with a candle, met a couple of regulars, Captain Troy and Mr. Bluegill. The food was fabulous, so I decided on dessert. I'd have a piece of munt cake and a slice of homemade pizer to go. So it's time to hit the road, and I kindly asked, Bro, what's the quickest way to get to Namesville from here? Mitchell at the table next to me said, Head straight north. You go through a few darling little towns, Lawson, Munsick, and Pudens, then take a right at the Girl of 10,000 Lakes. You'll know you're there when you see Jenny and her son. I said thanks and hit the road. After a few hours, I pulled into Durick, which coincidentally isn't far from Bow Bells, to grab a scope for my gun. I bought him a lens for my Smith & Weaver, and now that I think about it, I'm not sure I got the brand right. Anywho, I said I'm headed to Namesville, and the nice lady there said three towns left, Nelson and Amundsen, then all you should see are wheat fields. She told me the Durham should be ready for harvest right about now. But once you get to Calmerton, stop at Renus and Bromeyers next to Axman, Deedy, and Procknow, the fancy lawyer's office. They'll tell you where the hunting and fishing is best this time of year. Ask Kurt about the reef close to the cliff where the perch stack and ask him for the mark. I think it's just above the underhill. Well, it wasn't long and I finally arrived at my destination, Namesville. What a place. If you listen carefully, you can even hear the cat's hool. I'm living the life of Riley, and that's a win for me. I'm Jason Walter, and that's In Through the Outdoors. Thanks for listening.